Hi, my name is Ben. I'm an engineer at NI. Uh, today I'm going to show you a test solution uh, built by NI and New Wave DV uh, for testing A-Rink 818 avionics video bus. So this is my PXI system. Uh, in the PXI system, I have two high-speed serial instruments. Uh, so what these high-speed serial instruments do is they have large field programmable gate arrays or FPGAs on board that allow us to put the A-Rink 818 protocol uh, on them. Um, since they have the protocol uh, entirely on board, uh, we can run in real time uh, and they serialize and deserialize the information on board uh, and send that to multi-gigabit transceivers uh, that are on board uh, and receive it uh, from those multi-gigabit transceivers as well on the receive side. Uh, so one of these is our transmitter, uh, the other one is our receiver. Uh, you'll see also in my PXI system is this embedded controller. Uh, this is a new embedded controller from NI uh, and it has some cool security features on board. Uh, one of those security features is a removable hard drive. Uh, the removable hard drive allows you to operate a PXI system in sensitive environments uh, where you may have sensitive data. Uh, and so you can take that hard drive out when you're not in operation, uh, maybe lock it away in a safe, uh, maybe destroy it uh, if you feel like it has sensitive information on board. Uh, the other uh, security um, feature that we have on board this guy uh, is a trusted program module chip, TPM chip. Uh, and the trusted program module allows you to confirm that all the peripherals that you're operating within your system uh, meet the trusted program module specifications. So now that we've looked at the hardware of our system, uh, we're going to look a little at the software. Uh, the software that we're running over here over my shoulder is actually a flight simulator software. Uh, that flight simulator software allows us to generate A-Rink 818 data in software, so we can use that as our actual uh, transmitter uh, information. Uh, and so what we do is we take some, uh, we have a piece of software uh, that takes a little information from that flight simulator software, uh, serializes it on our PXI system in one of these high-speed serial instruments, uh, sends that through the MGT to the receiver, uh, and then we can render the image uh, in, our, um, in our test software. Here you'll see our test software um, off to the side. Uh, we have three panels here, so we'll kind of walk through them panel by panel. In the first panel, you'll see our transmitter. So the test software suite here, we have an API in LabVIEW that actually allows you to plug into uh, all of the features and capabilities in this test suite. Uh, it allows you to set things like the uh, line rates, frame rates of your A-Rink 818 bus, the packetization of your data, the segmentation of your data, uh, any of the things that you would want to change in your A-Rink 818 bus. The second panel that we have here is our receiver. So in the receiver, in this example, we are uh, rendering all of the information that we're getting from our A-Rink 818 uh, bus. Uh, and so you'll see uh, things like the weather radar here, uh, the altimeter, our heading, um, all the different items that you would have in a flight display that would come off of your A-Rink 818 bus. You can also see the statistics of the bus. Uh, so if we uh, click on the second panel, you'll see things like the failure rates in the bus, uh, different statistics from the line, uh, the line and the frame rates, uh, and from the frames of a rink 18 that we're getting, uh, and you would see if errors are appearing here. So you can see how good the connection is uh, of your a rink 18 bus. So now that we've looked at the features of our receiver software in the test suite to both display our a rink 18 data and to get all the statistics of our a rink 18 bus data, uh, let's look at how we save that to disk as we're, uh, as we're running through the bus and, and streaming that. Uh, and so if you go to the block diagram here, um, you'll actually see in the API, uh, one of the VIs in our uh, LabVIEW program uh, allows us to go from displaying the image on our front panel uh, to saving to disk. Uh, and so you can use this uh, to easily uh, stream all of that A-Rink 818 data. So now that we've looked at all of the features of the receiver portion of our software, uh, now let's look at the last portion, which is the fault insertion capability. Uh, being able to insert faults in test software is really important. Um, it essentially allows us to confirm uh, that both uh, we're reading faults properly when we should be. Uh, in a system, we want to know where the faults are, uh, how they're happening, uh, where they happen. Uh, the second one is us being able to put faults into the system in order to uh, read them back or in order to see how the item that we're testing uh, operates when it's given faulty information. So for instance, let's say that we're going to insert a fault in our, uh, in our, in our A-Rink 818 bus. Uh, so first, let's make sure that we can see uh, the information that we're, uh, that we're going to see uh, undercoming uh, the, um, the error. And let's come back to our fault insertion. Let's say we put a disparity flip uh, into our code. Uh, so essentially, we're messing with the first frame of our A-Rink 818 data. Uh, and let's do that on port 1. Uh, and what you'll see is it immediately affects 
uh, both the altimeter as well as uh, some of the other readouts on the page. Uh, this is expected behavior, uh, and now we know that were we to send this incorrect data, uh, that our system is behaving as we would expect it to, having bad data. NI and New WaveDV have partnered to make a number of different test suites like this one for avionics interfaces. Uh, obviously, here you saw our A-Rink 818 interface. Uh, we also have solutions for fiber channel-based interfaces, including Serial Rapid I.O., as well as Ethernet-based interfaces. Uh, to learn more about how NI and New Wave DV are working together to test avionics interfaces, as well as how we're testing other LRUs and flight computers, visit ni.com slash aerospace. To learn more about New Wave DV, visit newwavedv.com.